You ever wonder about this whole like supermarket and retail compliance? People are complying to the rules of society and because they want to go shopping. You ever wonder? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with just a little brief uh, um, observation. You know, I was picking up my uh, supermarket groceries at ShopRite, and I, I sat there while I was waiting, and I filmed the, just the people coming and going, and observing the people coming and going um, from the supermarket. Um, and we don't go in the store, and you want to know why? It's because we 100% refuse to wear a mask it's for our own reasons. I just don't want, I don't want to comply. I mean, I'm, you know, whatever. But watching what other people do is, is, a, is like a fascinating kind of like uh, art, so to say. You, know, you got hordes of compliant people wearing masks and, and it, it just seems like a Twilight Zone episode, very surreal. Um, and then you, then, you know, I saw a lot of people just grabbing their shopping carts, coming in and leaving, but then you had the people, there were always people that disinfected the shopping carts because this most supermarkets before this crisis happened had hand sanitizer and wipes to I guess they want people to feel clean I don't know what what the deal is and for years people just used shopping carts they didn't even think about it no one was dropping dead no bodies piling up on the street but it's uh, I, I really think I don't think people understand that it's a scare tactic and and ego and the invisible enemy is is something that people are just scared of. They don't even know anything about it. They haven't done any tests. I don't know. I swear to God, if someone came here today, say somebody said, I have proof here that this whole thing was a hoax and most of the people or a good percentage of the people would continue believing the hoax. You know what I mean? Or, or the original thing they were scared into thinking that there was germs on the surface and people are spewing deadly viruses out of their mouth at all times. I don't think that's ever going to go away. But it's basically a combination of, uh, you know, from the top of my head, like confirmation bias, which is like, you know, believing what you believe in and never allowing any other beliefs to come in. And that's very much this, um, true with politics, as well as cognitive dissonance. And that's when you have two contradicting views and let, like, let's say you believe for sure that th this virus is going to kill anybody, even though you have no proof. And then someone says, no, we're wrong. You'll never believe that, that new information. It just won't work on you. Um, it, it's clear that there's uh, very little in independent thought and like, critical thinking. Like nobody asks what if, I mean, not, not what if, but like, who does this benefit? Why are they doing this? They just believe it because they're just sheep in my opinion. But, you know, on the flip side, I really do I can understand why some people would comply because they may not have a choice. You know, you need food and maybe they don't have the money to pay extra for the convenience of online shopping and you have to pay five bucks a delivery or to your car and $15 a delivery to your house, which isn't much if you order like 500 bucks worth of food. Uh, a lot of times it'll save you the time and trouble to go out. It, it's really not that much, but five bucks for them to deliver to your car. I guess they're just paying for the little clerk to walk around and put it in bags for you and tally your order. But, uh, you, you know, it's, it doesn't mean just because you comply with the rules that you're a sheep or a lemming. You know, you have to do what you have to do. But, um, and, the, and I, I guess you just have to pretend to comply. It's like, it's sort of like, you don't want to do it, but you do it. It, and I don't think that's <clears throat> very good for the long-term health of the individual. But then you, you'll see on, uh, on the news, which it's hard to believe to begin with, but you'll see people who refuse to be controlled. Like, I'm not wearing a mask. It's unconstitutional and all that. And then mobs of people will, will come out and think they're infected and they get booted out of the stores and there's violence and fighting, which is dumb to begin with. And uh, a lot of times they get arrested. Some people, I think some people have even been killed for not wearing a mask. I mean, how goddamn retarded is that? But I, I don't really want to test the system. You know, I'll just let it, I'm hoping it dies out. And I'm, I'm losing patience a little bit. But I'm, I'll never demoralize myself with a stupid mask. Not even for fun. Not even as a joke. Not even for Halloween. I will not do it. Um, so I'm, I'll skirt the system for now and keep dignity in there. But, um,
we're fine. And hopefully the sheep that have bought into this will uh, wake up. But I don't know what kind of revelation is going to have to happen uh, society-wide for this thing to change. So that's it. Please hit the like and subscribe and all that other stuff. And I'll see you next video. Thank <laughs> you.